Police in New York City are still searching for the person who attacked a subway train, leaving roughly two dozen people injured. Video shows the chaotic moments right after smoke bombs and gunshots went off. The gunman fired more than 30 shots and struck 10 people. Investigators say the weapon jammed, preventing more shots from being fired. Others suffered smoke inhalation or were injured in the commotion. A man named Frank James is the person police want to question about the attack. He has connections to Chicago and Milwaukee. Glenn Marshall is following the investigation. Good morning, Glenn. Hey, good morning, guys. Now, New York police are not calling Frank James a suspect, but say he could possibly have ties to what unfolded in yesterday's subway attack. They have confirmed that James did rent a U-Haul van that was found in Brooklyn yesterday. His YouTube page shows he recently made a trek from Wisconsin to the East Coast, even saying he lived here in Chicago for some time. This nation was born in violence. It's kept alive by violence or the threat thereof. And it's going to die a violent death. There's nothing going to stop that. That's Frank James talking about Chicago traffic and confirming he lived here in Chicago on his YouTube page. We were able to find this apartment. He rented on the 4900 block of North Kenmore Avenue in Uptown. Now, this video is part of his vlog from Milwaukee to Philadelphia, which was posted three weeks ago. After yesterday's attack in that Brooklyn subway train stop, police located a U-Haul key inside that subway, which they confirmed was a van rented by Frank James just a couple of days ago. Police have determined he could have a connection to the attack where 10 people were shot. The New York Times reported Frank James' neighbors in Milwaukee said the man was standoffish on his YouTube page. He recorded himself going on bigoted tirades, even going as far as to say Russian President Vladimir Putin wouldn't be wrong to nuclear bomb the U.S. This nation was born in violence. It's kept alive by violence or the threat thereof. And it's going to die a violent death. There's nothing going to stop that. Mr. James is just a person of interest we know right now who rented that U-Haul van in Philadelphia. The keys to that U-Haul van were found in the subway in our shooter's possessions. We don't know right now if Mr. James has any connection to the subway. That's still under investigation. In the meantime, police are offering a $50,000 reward for information that would lead up to an arrest and indictment for the attack.